the time I got the most excited was was working on tracking of the Venus balloon. I can remember being in the control room and looking at the screen and waiting for the blip to come. <laughs> waiting for the blip to come. And then when it came, I actually jumped up and down. <laughs> I started in 57. I don't even want to count anymore. But I started um, two days before Explorer 1 was launched. I went to school to learn how to be an artist so I could be an architect, because I thought I'd, I could do all the engineering part of architecture, but I didn't know how to do the art part. And I got a scholarship to a school that taught art. So I went there, but it turns out you can't learn art. So when I left school, I went to work looking at engineering companies. So I applied at Convair in Pomona, and they asked me if I liked numbers. And I said, oh yeah, I like numbers a lot better than letters. <laughs> and so they put me to work as a computer with one other woman. She and I did all of the I don't know about all of it, but most of the computing for these engineers, just by hand on the Frieden calculator. When I got married, my husband suggested I look at JPL because it was much closer to where we were living, and they needed a computer too. The engineer would um, write out an equation and uh, say what the parameters were that you would uh, try to solve for and you'd have a sheet of paper like this with columns and rows, and you would write out across the top the steps you would use with these numbers to come up with the last answers. It was not just arithmetic, it was math, and it was programming, but we didn't call it that. <laughs> so then when I had to start programming, um, it was easy. Currently, I'm um, doing the testing for a new uh, subsystem that goes into the Deep Space Network, and it's going to be a new array, meaning that they take all the antennas or just two of them and listen to the same spacecraft, and we combine the signals to make it stronger. The stuff we work on is um, so unusual and so special, and it's being an explorer and a treasure hunter, and um, it's, I think it's very important to respect and, and th think you're doing something worthwhile, and certainly what we do is worthwhile. <laughs>